The first thing I collected outside was soil. This will be the terra in our terrarium. Then I found these beautiful leaves. Even more leaves will be falling soon, so this is the perfect time to go out and collect them. I also grabbed a fern frond that had broken off of the plant. This won't do much for the snails, but it will add a bright pop of color to the enclosure. I collected some sticks and some rotting bark, which will make our snails feel right at home. Last, I collected some rocks that'll add a nice texture for the snails. I also have a clean spray bottle here with water. Now we're going to put everything together. We'll start by making a nice base of soil, just like the snails would have outside. We're gonna get a little bit messy during this step, so I suggest building your terrarium outside if you can. There's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of dirt under your nails though. Next, I'm going to go ahead and dampen the soil with my spray bottle. Snails need moisture to survive, so as long as I have this terrarium, I'm gonna keep a spray bottle with clean water nearby. Now I'm gonna add in the rocks for a new texture for the snails. You can add the rocks in however you like, or you can even make a little picture out of them. We'll add in the leaves now. The leaves are important because they'll create a damp, dark layer for the snails to hide under when they wanna rest. Snails don't always like to be out and about, so when they want time to relax, they can do so under these leaves. Next, I'm adding the sticks and the bark. This decaying matter will be perfect for our slimy friends, and the tall sticks will give them more room to explore if they want to climb. Next, we'll add some finishing touches to complete our terrarium and make it perfect for the snails. I love it, and I'm sure the snails will too. Now I'm gonna spray once more with my clean water to make sure everything is damp, but not soaking wet. Now I'm adding in my snail food. If you try your experiment and the snails don't seem to be interested in what you're adding, you can always try using older produce and things that have gotten a little bit slimy and gross. Terrestrial snails are very good at breaking down plants and vegetation that are already on their way out, so this is definitely something to try. Now that our terrarium is complete, it's time to add our snails. Now, if you want to add an extra challenge, you can also download the Naturalist app, iNaturalist, on a phone or an iPad and try to identify the species of snail that you are dealing with. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much. Happy experimenting!